Today I want to show you how to make appointment at a foreign office in Germany, you know. So if you go to the internet, anyway, you go to Google, and then you type Ausland before the Berlin, or it depends where you are. Right now I'm in Berlin. So you will get uh, the page like this. Let me close this one first. Then you can go to appointment time baron. You can change it English or Dutch. So for this case, let me put it to English, which I did it already here. And then you screw go up. <clears throat> you can check the service. This is all the type of visa. Maybe you have permanent residence card. Of family it's a bunch of information here but if you want to go direct to the appointment you can click here which says direct let me highlight it <clears throat> which says direct link direct link to the appointment the online appointment agreement so you go to direct and you get a page like this you know like i say you can set it in dutch let me you know if you prefer english you can put it in english very simple so you go to book appointment the internet is so slow So you have the page like this then you go down step you will see i hereby de declare that i have read and understood the information on this page you know so you, uh, you click agree and then you go next Our net is slow, like I say. So it will open this way. So you go here, citizenship, then you click. You will choose your citizenship here. I'm a Ghanaian, so I'll go to the Ghana side. Click Ghana, if uh, any country, Nigeria, Cameroon, whatever, America, Lebanon, or whatever, you just click. So you go here, number of applicants. In this case, I'm the only one. So I click one. No, <clears throat> there are more two, three, four, five, six, seven, up to eight. I think up to eight. But in this case, I'm the only one. So I put one. If you are two people, put two. If you are three, put three. <clears throat> you live in Berlin with a family member or you know, something like this husband or wife or child, you know, so yeah <clears throat> it depends on your situation if you are living alone maybe you are a student you are whatever you know so like in my case i'm living with my yeah, my family and children and kids you know, so i press yes 
so it will then open again and ask you citizenship of the family member you know so the family member is the person you marry or either your husband <clears throat> your wife or whatever you know yeah so in this case uh she's a german so i put german and also in this case my wife is a german so i go to german or germany you know so you know you see so here we have everything ghana one person do you live in berlin yes you with your wife and your yes and then here is citizenship of the family of course German. <clears throat> so here this is where it makes more sense so in this case if you are applying for a residence type title let me say maybe you are applying you, you, you get visa you came or you are a student you know and then here you are a student you want to apply for the resident uh, uh, detail you know you can click there and then you see all the information or you go here you have it but it's a spy but you know you can also click there and choose it you know but those ones are more for students you know people are you are a student because of you know you are schooling here here you are applying <clears throat> here you have it already i'm here also a student or whatever but here here too is the same as a student but you have it already but it has expired you want to extend it whatever you click there it will open you will see it maybe it's because of work because of education or whatever because of visit or whatever you know what i mean <clears throat> and you have your family members say you visit them and but your visit has expired you think that you want to extend it so that you can you know and here is <clears throat> transfer of a res residence title to a new passport maybe you are living here already you have your um, living with your family like me but now your passport has expired but you have new passport and you want to transfer everything there you know you want to transfer the old things that you have to the new passport you know <clears throat> because otherwise you can't travel you see so they will stop you at the airport or whatever and what i mean then it will be a too much questions and here is um you are living in germany of course <clears throat> you have a resident permit even though maybe you have married or you are working you have a child but they just give you like three years two years five years now it has expired but you want to have the permanent permanent settlement you know you want to have a permanent settlement so now you are applying it you know don't make me don't get me wrong here you have the permanent already but it's just that it has expired and you want to get it on a new passport here so you go there and here you are living with your wife let me say you marry german man a uh, german woman or german man but they give you three years or four years or five years you've been working here you know what i mean everything is okay so now you want to now apply for permanent you know you want to apply for permanent residence you know so you go here because you are applying it then you click here you see all the information what you need to have <clears throat> you know your working permit uh, you've been working here here for three years you work you pay um let me click it let's see what it is i can still come back so you see <clears throat> so this is the paragraph so here we have the permanent settlement permit for children you know and here permanent uh, settlement permit for family members and of german citizens you know let me say here let's click here for example <clears throat> so it will open and show you all the information that you need to have this is all the information you need to have applying application blah 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 you need to have for uh, for three years with you know temporary residence permit you know yeah you need to have some certificate is sufficient of language here let me highlight it you know so it means <clears throat> you should be able to speak the german language it must not be so perfect but at least you can speak let's say 50 percent you know somebody asks you how are you you can say i'm fine where are you going i'm going here are you hungry no 
you know or i'm something like that give me this water you bring it how old are you, you know something like that you know that you can be able to communicate with the people you see <clears throat> yeah and here also there's another information the period of uh the period in which a valid uh, national visa you know you can read it whatever you see so all these things you need to have it you need, <clears throat> you need to have no criminal record and all those things in, in all and your valid passport and and then now you can apply you know so let me also check this one for you got to see you see like i say education purposes uh, economic activity family reasons special right of residence you know yeah <clears throat> you are applying you know so here <clears throat> Want to extend it you know it's the same like i said this and this is the same you have this one but it has expired now you are applying here you don't need to bring some document because they know you in the system already so in that case you don't need to go and apply again because you apply already you have it you see <clears throat> so you don't have to go and apply and bring some kind of documentation again no so you just go here and the purpose here you choose the type of whatever it is you choose let me try here and we we'll see you see <clears throat> those are the paragraph so you choose that can get some water guys forgive me i have cold you know the weather change you know and everything is a little bit hard so those are the paragraphs student study whatever service training you know those of you who have this kind of thing you understand it you know so <clears throat> you are applying to the same so but now in this case i am this way i am here because i'm living with i have it already it's just that my passport has expired and I want to have it on the new passport. You get my point? So now in this case, I go here, then I choose transfer of a blue card EU, you know, to a new passport. Transfer of a permanent settlement permit on an EU long-term residence permit to a new passport, whatever. Transfer of a residence document GB to a new passport. I don't know what that GB means, but I'll check it. Those of you who know, you can comment and let me know. Transfer of a resident permit to a new passport, you know, so you have to choose. So in this case, I am here because I have, if you click it, of course you have to, I'm here. <clears throat> yeah, because uh, I have the permanent resident settlement or whatever they call it. But in this case, my passport has expired, you know, yeah, because the passport of Ghana is 10 years, you know, yeah. <clears throat> so now I need to have it on the new passport. I can go, they give, they put it in a card, whatever, you know, because the system has changed now. They don't put the visa on top of the the passport anymore. They have, they have issued a card now, you know, so... I may go there, they put it, they give me new team in the card. They'll just create a card for me, you know what I mean? They, I may also go, they put it on the passport. Whatever it is, it's all the same. So I click here, then I go down. <clears throat> this is all the information. This is just information. Your selection, transfer of permanent settlement permit on. Uh, okay, new passport. So all this thing is just information. You do nothing here. If you are here, there are some information here you need. If you choose here, there are some information here you need to, to choose also. You know? <clears throat> but because they know me already. My, my name is in the system. My everything is in the system. So there is nothing I can do here. But still, they will show you an information, you know, for you to understand. If you want to travel abroad, you know, they will give you an information. You know, with your old passport, take your new passport, the old passport and your permanent, you know, that you can, guys, you can read it. And then here, <clears throat> so another just information, you know, 
there is nothing here to do you can't click anything here you can't choose anything here just this is just an information that they are giving to you to know you know mm -hmm. document require your new passport your old passport i think if you are coming they need your need they need your new passport and your old passport as well i don't know whatever if your passport has been stolen and you have reported the thief to the police please bring the report with you you know in case you know maybe your passport as somebody stole steal or stole your passport the passport is not expired but you, you lost it let me put it this way nobody steal it you lost it and you you have to go to police station and um, do a police report then the police will write you uh, a paper you know so now you have new passport you have to still hold that police report and bring it to the uh Ausland neighborhood that we call the foreign office that is that you know your permanent resident title title or whatever you know electronic residence title e a t e a t together with the supplement sheet or your old passport with the attachment attached resident you know what i mean so yeah something like that so all here is this information and the current biometric photo, you know, which is 35 millimeter time is 45 mm, you know, or, yeah. So front page, um, you guys read it. And then this is all information and for money that you will pay fees, you know, depend. It depend which one you are, I think my case for the age on my when on my case i think i'm adult maybe i will pay 60 uh i may pay 60 67 euros but bear in mind if they are giving you card after you pay the 67 they will still post it you they will not give you the card the same day they have to post it for you and you will pay again the posting money that will cost again i'm sure even though they don't write it here maybe they write it i don't know somewhere up there because i didn't read it they will still post it and you have to pay for the posting you see you have to pay for the posting you know so post paying for the person to the guy even they can charge you maybe 35 euros maybe even 50 euros you know what i mean because they make money is money you know we are making money business you know what i'm saying so <clears throat> you have to look which one it is and then you go here it's just information whatever it is you know but let me click and see whatever you know but we don't need it this is it will bring us back to the uh information of here so now you do everything like this finish so what you do now you you go here and you click next this is where the funniest things come you can click next unfortunately you don't have appointment there is because it is full there is no any appointment you know, and you will keep trying and trying and trying and trying. Believe me, you can try the whole day. Maybe you may not even get anything. You know, so it is very hard, you know. And if you go there direct, you go and meet a lot of people there. So it is over to you go direct or you do it here, which it will take maybe two, two three days before you get it. Let us go on. And let's see what can come out. So you go on. Like I say, you may be lucky you have it. You may be lucky you have yeah, unlucky you don't have it. You see, because there is no appointment. It's full. You know. So in that case, you have to keep trying and trying. Try the next day. Try in hours, seconds. You know, let's see if you have luck. Fine. If you don't have luck. But the way I'm seeing it, it doesn't look like. Because... I'm seeing it from here, book appointment, you see. So, guys, you can see there are currently no date available for the selected service. Please try a later, you see, and the time is tickling. As soon as this time is over, 
you have to restart it again so now what do you do you go up let's try again why i am trying again is you can be lucky somebody or someone has made appointment but in this case the person cannot go and the person cancel you know when the person cancel you'll be lucky that when you are searching that cancellation that somebody did will reflect immediately and then you are you will be the lucky the lucky one to get that appointment you see that's what i'm trying again normally i don't need to try again but if you have time you feel like i have time the whole day i'm sitting you see there's nothing again you know so i can say try you feel like go oh, have time the whole day so let me sit and keep trying and keep trying until maybe i get it fine you know if you don't have time you just leave it you try it again the next day if you don't get don't get it you try the next day then if you don't get it then you pack your things so yeah, you go to the place direct and go and queue a line which will take you maybe the whole day believe me you can stand there for you can go there six o'clock you go you, you wake up then you have to wake up if it's in berlin that i know i don't know the other area in germany but if it's in berlin you have to make sure that you are there at least four o'clock in the morning because if you sleep and enjoy yourself enjoy life and then you want to go there you will reach there maybe like let me say eight o'clock nine o'clock ten o'clock my friend you can't forget because you will reach there you go and find a lot of people and by the time it will reach your turn to get a number. You know, it will be maybe that can around, um, you know. So you are going to spend the whole day sitting there. You see it. The whole day. So I advise you if you want to go there with that appointment, you need to be there early. You need to stand up early in the morning. But you are there. Make sure 4 o'clock you are there start there at the, at the gate try to be the number 10 because number first you cannot get number first because if you think you are there early trust me you will find somebody who is also there well if you want to come there one o'clock midnight believe me somebody is there sleeping already somebody's at the gate sleeping if you think that okay fine i'll also sleep there Somebody was there two days, was sleeping inside his car already. You see, so one way or the other, you can never be number first. You know, you can never be number first. So, but just go early to avoid too much people. You know, maybe if you go early, you can be maybe number 50, number 20, number 25. You know, if you are lucky. Or, I mean, then things will be all right. But if you sleep and sleep and sleep like see some of the guys they will sleep and just wake up because they feel like it's fine yeah, in germany you know so everything is cool germans don't joke with their office they, they want people who are serious you know so you will sleep here and just wake up in the uh, and go to 12 o'clock and expect that you get a good results you will never find a good results you know so that's it you know what i'm saying so i can decide to go there right, because i'm working you know, so what I will do is I will, I will take holiday. I will ride for holiday for one week from my boss. You know, so this one week will be only for this program. So if I go, if I the first, if I go today, and I feel that there is too much people, I cannot stand. I come back. This is how I do my things. You know, so I will take holiday, one week holiday. Then I will arrange myself proper. Then I'll pursue it. So before that one week end, by all means, I will make it. You know what I mean? Because uh, you go there, you see some people, they get paranoid. And they get frustrated, you know, because they do not plan. They have to be at work. Maybe they get the work new, you know. So, Germany here, when you get job, a new work, they call, there is something we call it proboscite. They are testing you to see if you are, you are capable of working there in the company before they can issue you uh, 
a, a permanent working day that you can work you know so then they will get paranoid because they didn't plan well they are there they think that it's just like uh, their own country they'll just wake up and go to the office at any time at any moment then everything is all right no it is not doing they are not doing it here like that you have to plan it very well and then when you are there you do it then you come back if you don't plan it you go and spend maybe the whole day you don't have it you come back you go the next day by the time you realize your boss will sack you they'll just write letter and say we don't need you because you're not serious i understand they are germans they want somebody who is serious you know you wake up in the morning come to work at time don't tell me because of your your visas expire so so you, you know what i mean you go there you didn't get it you must see it on your document that your visa remain like three months to expire. So start start processing earlier. You start processing earlier. From in fact, from two months you start processing. You see, when you start processing from two months, by the time the two months will end, everything is done. But if you wait, you wait, you sit down, you eat because there is a lot of cheap donor here. You eat donor, you have everything free. You eat. And then remain one week, two weeks, and now that you want to do the process, yeah, it's going to be catastrophic, you know. Right now, as I'm talking to you, my the expired, my my passport should expire in three months, right? In fact, I got new passport already. I went and applied for new passport, which took me two months to get the passport from J from Ghana. You see, so by the time I will end up with all this program I'm doing, it will match exactly with the time with the expiring date of my uh, 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 the, the passport. You know, but fine, it's okay. You know, so now we don't get it, guys. This is how it is. Try everywhere, try it. You can see, guys. You try, you try, you try. Nothing, nothing's coming. You know, nothing's coming. You know. By the way, subscribe and then you share. Give it to other people, let them share, let them see it, you know. Yeah. If any question, write to me, then we can discuss. You know, let me see. Maybe we are lucky now. Mm, it doesn't look good. As long as you see this thing is rotating back again, then you should be hundred percent sure. No, it doesn't work. You know, you see so. Well, let me try like I am applying. Let's say I am applying now. Let's see if I may get a chance there because, uh, okay, like I say, let me see if I am applying. Well, let me let me go like I'm, I am applying it. If there must be a chance there. I must click something here, here. You know. If I may get chance there, if I get chance there, no problem. I'll explain to them I am not applying it. I have they will even see it on the document and then uh and then everything will be alright. It looks like something is good going good. It looks like it's going good. No, it's not. It's not. It's not, you see. So, there is no appointment. You know, I cannot try this because I'm not there. I'm here or here. You see, if I go here, I can't try it because I'm not a student. Eh? I'm not also an economic activity. Uh, family reason, I'm not, there's not any family reason here, you know. I'm not here. You see, I'm not here. So I can't try this. It doesn't make sense. And they will ask me but you know what I mean? There are some things if you do they themselves in the office they will they will not understand it because you cannot tell me you live in here in Germany for fifteen to twenty years and then now you you are applying on the internet and then you are doing this kind of bullshit. You go here and apply and you, you go here just because you here you don't get these two, you don't get appointment. Then you go here and, and click education purposes, you know. Fine, maybe this place, they don't have appointment for that because maybe it's full. Fine, maybe in this place, there are appointment. 
and then because you think that here you don't get appointment so you jump and come here uh, apply for residence you know then you come and press here you know what i mean then uh it doesn't make sense you see let me to add for attending a language course you see and then you go and choose here choose here and then you click it then you have appointment you go to the office they will even look on your appointment they will feel like you no know, you are not capable of even living with us because you've been here for 20 years you should know all these common things you are not applying for any attendant of language course do you understand me you are not for vocation and all the voc uh, for example here paragraph 16 you see, resident permit for vocation training. It doesn't make no sense. Do you hear my point? Or here, paragraph 19C to paragraph 1. You see, so it doesn't also make no sense. Resident permit to start a traineeship. You know, it doesn't make sense. They will just look at you now, Mr. Doom, because you are not here. You should know all these common things. Or, even though you you may not know the paragraph because paragraph is is law you know i haven't been to uh law school here but fine you can also see check the paragraph on internet you know here we have paragraph uh, section 16 f paragraph one you can check in the section you will see what it means you know so it doesn't make sense you know, so you go to the office. Maybe if you are if you are not lucky, you meet a very somebody who have a bad day in the office. He can decide to push and tell you that. You know, they can decide to give another appointment for one month just because of your stupidity. Sorry for my language. Just because of your ignorant and uh, that how do you even call it? your ignorant? You know, so. Because of the ignorance, you know, so, oh, you see, so it is here, yeah, here or here, here makes sense, if you try here, you don't get it, and you try here, it makes sense, do you understand me, fine, my time is up, like I say, we have time running, so the time is finished, you need to start it again, you click because the site is there already, you go again direct, guys, this is just, to show you guys how it is happening let me go back and show you guys something like i said you see this is appointment maybe now let me say change appointment let me say maybe i did it already i want to change appointment or delete appointment so this is where if you have lucky somebody have it already he changed the appointment and when you are doing that person appointment will reflect and then you can collect it or somebody delete his appointment the appointment will reflect back in the system and then it when you are lucky you match it the same time as the person is deleting it and then you pick it you see that's why i like to try it and try it and try it you know so i've been trying this almost two days now and couldn't get it you know so i think if i don't get it i will definitely walk myself there and then stand for a line and then whatever you know what i'm saying i can also go to the burger arm direct and do it also there one way of the other you know yeah but this is just for show that i'm showing you guys to know you know should in case you uh should in case you uh you are doing it you don't know how to do it this is the way you can do it you know be you student or whatever you know so let's try it again try it again German let's try it again So we go. <clears throat> so 
something better i don't think so not again you see so now let me assuming i want to change the citizenship of my let me put it ghana so in case if it work and i wish that they ask me i would say oh i didn't see it you know so it was a mistake fine but i don't think it is still open let me choose here again I don't think it will still open. Yeah. So when I reach there, they ask me, I will just say, oh, oop, I didn't see. I was just trying to, 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 to choose Germany and then it jumped to Ghana because Ghana and Germany are the same position. So they will understand me. It's just a trick. Everything is explanation. There are some things you need to explain. There are some mistakes. It's acceptable when you explain it proper and there are some mistakes you explain it it won't work so guys that's it thank you very much please subscribe and share we didn't get it unfortunately we don't have it so we'll try the, the next day again stay blessed and be a good person in germany and finger the rook goodbye subscribe and share. Bye.